Hey everyone, just posting a quick how-to video regarding the Steam Deck and Spider-Man Remastered and the modding process for it. Recently did a little live stream with a mod of the Black Symbiote suit. Uh, in that process I had used the standard TOC model where we just replaced the TOC file, but recently found out that that's not working quite as well. So, gonna step through here today the process of installing the Spider-Man PC modding tool onto the Steam Deck and getting it operational. First and foremost, need to be remoted into your Steam Deck or using a dock for this process. I would not recommend just doing this uh, on the dock itself. What I have set up here is the tool called Any Desk, and I've opened up the Nexus Mods Spider-Man Remastered Modding Tool. So from the web here, we're going to go ahead and download it. You'll notice I have to be signed in to do so. And there we are. Once that file is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And we need to extract it to a, an accessible location on your system. Um, so specifically somewhere inside of the home slash deck directory is ideal. So we're going to go ahead and open up the extracted zip file via the uh, arc tool, as we see here. And we're going to go up to extract. I'm actually going to put it in my uh, home slash deck directory. When you go ahead and extract it, it's going to create a subdirectory for the Spider-Man PC tool, as you see here. Now, the next thing we need to do is get access to our asset archive directory. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click, go to Create New, and link to directory or file. I'm going to name this one Asset Under Archive. Technically, you can name it whatever you want. That just makes it a little easier so I know where it's going. And then I'm going to browse for a directory. Now when you do this, you don't see the correct directory listed under deck as it's hidden. But we can simply type it in. So I'm going to add a slash dot steam, slash steam, slash steam apps, slash common, slash Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, slash asset archive. You should see it filling in as you start to type. I will leave a link in the description with the full path as well. Once we've got that, we'll click OK and I should now see that asset archive folder there. Next step, we're going to go ahead and add the SMPC tool to Steam. So I right click and click Add to Steam. And once that's done, I can open up my Steam library and I should see it right there, smpctool.exe. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it, go to Properties. A couple things I'm going to do here. One, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. This is not required, but I want it to show up when I search for Spider-Man in the same location. So I'm just going to name it Marvel Spider-Man Remastered Mod Tool. And then the most important thing is to go down to compatibility and enable force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Uh, I use Proton Experimental. The stable version should be just fine. The important thing is to get it to launch from Proton. So now I should see it organized up here with my Spider-Man items. If I search for Spider, there she is. And I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Now, first thing it's going to do when it opens is it's going to need to know where my asset archive location is for the game that's installed. So I'm going to browse to my root uh, folder structure here down to home, deck, and then in that deck directory I have my Spider-Man PC tool, and there it is, asset archive. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, I already have a mods folder in there because I've gone through this once. You may or may not have a folder there, but either way, should be able to open the application and now have access to the, the necessary assets. So next thing we're going to do here is go ahead and go up to our mod manager and take a look and lo and behold we have no mods. So let's go back to Nexus Mods. Um, you can choose any mod that you'd like that supports the, the mod tool itself. I'm going to go ahead and go with another uh, symbiote style suit here. This is the classic symbiote suit 1.5. Uh, this mod was created by Jack90, of the, uh, Jack90 UK. And if I go ahead and take a look at files here, we're going to select the manual download option. Now it's warning me I have to have the PC modding tool running for this to work, uh, which is to be expected. I'm going to go ahead and select my slow download. Waiting for the download to go. And there she is. I'm going to take a few seconds here to pull down the file, and then I'm going to go ahead and open it once again with the arc application and I need to extract this SMPC mod file um, for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna put it in the same spider-man uh, PC tool folder I've been using previously so I'll go ahead and extract that there she is now I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, back over to our mod tool here and what we're gonna do is import that mod we're gonna click the add button over here on the top 
and then from there we'll browse down to the same directory structure. So I'm going to go down to the root, to home, to deck, and then to Spider-Man. And then right there, classic symbiote suit 1.5. I'm going to go ahead and select that file and let it import. All right. Now let's enable it. You can have multiple mods in here. In the description it does. Just keep in mind uh, each of these replaces an existing suit in the game. So take note of which one that is. In this case it's the Scarlet Spider suit. And we're going to go ahead and install the mods. This will take uh, a few seconds to run. Depending on the number of mods it may take a little bit longer. I expect about 15 to 30 seconds here to install this, this um, uh, single suit. And there we are. Go ahead and click OK. Time to test out if this works. So I'm going to go ahead and just from the desktop mode, I'm going to launch into Spider-Man Remastered. Now obviously when I'm playing this normally, I'd be back in the Steam Deck UI interface, but I want to make sure this works before we boot back over there. Now note, I am still capturing this via the AnyDesk remote uh, desktop tool, so uh, the frame rate in the video here may be a little choppy as a result, but the actual mod shouldn't impact the performance you have uh, uh, in the game at all. And there we are. Let's go ahead and launch into the game. And from this save file, I actually happen to already have the Scarlet Spider suit selected as my default, so when we get into the game here, I should see there it is. Our classic symbiote suit version 1.5, up and running. And I've scared a few people here. Just to double check, everything is working as designed. I'm going to do a little bit of moving, check a couple angles, but that should complete the process. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. I will take a look at them. Have a good one.